Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob and this is a how-to video for changing the tire size on your F-150 using Forescan. I've included links to everything I'm using today in the description below, so make sure to click on those and check them out. Alright, let's get into it. I'm going to have it running, I want a little bit of AC. I did turn the radio off and I've got Forescan pulled up and I've got it connected to the OBD2 port. So now it's time to connect to the vehicle and right here on the screen I'll go to it see this connect to vehicle now before you change anything you want to make sure that you save the initial format of your vehicle and you can actually go to forward and download your initial build for your vehicle as well rather than downloading it from the vehicle um, that way you can just factory reset it if you have any issues like your vehicle can't start you maybe change too many settings or whatever it may be yes it does have an HF HSMS can switch. Alright, so we'll set it to MS. Just flip the switch on that. Okay. And you're going to want to go to this little uh, microchip where it says configure. Click on that. And we're looking for the body control module. We're changing these tire circumference to make sure that my speedometer is accurate for my 35 inch tires. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to find the actual circumference of your tire. Now I know I'm running 315 7017s. I'm going to tiresize.com. 315 7017. And it's showing a circumference of 107.9 inches. And that needs to be in millimeters. Alright, so the circumference in millimeters for a 315 70R17, which is a 35 is 2741, so 2741 millimeters. And it may be slightly less than this, simply because I put miles on these tires, so they may be slightly worn down and smaller. So I could probably shave off a millimeter, maybe a couple on here, uh, when I enter this in, and we'll have to do some fine tuning, because it may be a little bit off based on tire pressures and all sorts of things. So now that we know our tire circumference, go back in to the body control module and in here you'll see as built and then non as built and the as built are like coded so it's not going to be as easy to change as just changing values so we're going to go into the body control module not as built click on it and hit play run service please set cam bus to hs switch it over and i've been okay now we're in our settings here, and there's several different ways you could do this. You could just scroll down, or you can search. Let's just put tire. So it instantly came up, tire circumference. The designated value from the factory is 2,475. So we're going to click in here and change this value. So I'll select it and hit edit select. And change this value. 2,700 and let's just say 40, just keep it even for now. And then if I need to change it, I can. Hit OK with that check mark. And now we want to go down and select right. And it's best to just do one thing, change only one thing at a time when you're doing this. That way you don't throw any trouble codes. Okay, just flashed low brake fluid level and stop. Just initializing. We did a change. It says blocks program successfully. Please cycle ignition off then back on and then click OK. So I'm going to turn it off. Let's sit for a second. Back on. All right, I'm hitting OK again. Okay, so now that I've written that value want to hit stop service procedure. Now we'll go back to configuration and programming. You can unplug it, go test drive it now, see how accurate it is. I just use a GPS on my phone to see how close it is and then I'll dial it in. Realistically it's best to get up to about 70 miles an hour if you can on the interstate. I feel like that's the best speed to determine if it's on or off. Usually around town you won't notice if it's off so just slightly but if you get up to a higher speed then that's where it really starts to show how far off or how dialed in you are. It might be right on if you've got new tires. 
um, and the PSI is set up to the circumference and everything is all good. Um, but it's just good to go ahead and test it with the GPS and then adjust it as needed. Now, if you're still going faster than the value, your circumference would be larger, but if you're going slower than the value you entered in, then you need to reduce your circumference size. So that's how you can kind of fine tune it and adjust. About two to three maybe on the high side. So I can make my circumference slightly smaller, saying about 50 here on the instrument cluster and really about 48 on my GPS. And this is pretty accurate using the Onyx off-road app. I'm using the track and go feature. You could do some math to dial this in. You know, you have your original value, you have the one that you input. I was about three miles an hour off originally. Now I'm about two to three miles an hour over. So I could maybe even like have that value and it should get me pretty close to being spot on. Now this is just 45 miles an hour. So if I get on the interstate, it may be off even more. There's only one way to tell and that's by doing it. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick adjustment and see if we can fine tune this. Since I was originally three miles an hour below my actual speed, and now I'm three miles an hour over, I did some simple math by taking my new value, 2,740, and subtracting the original, 2,475, to give me 265. Now I take 265 divided by two to get 132.5, and I add this to my original value of 2,475 to get 2,607, which is the correct tire size circumference. Right now it's on perfectly. So as simple as that, all it took was a little bit of easy math, just trying to figure out the precise circumference of the tire. And just like that, you can kind of finally tune it. Thanks for watching this how-to video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash down that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching.